Thank you, Tim. Well, the invention of camera phones has really changed the camera business altogether. Oh, absolutely. And that's what Marty is learning about in Hamden today. Marty, we are ready for this. Well, this is a really interesting story. We're at Service Photo Supply. This is uh, Brooke Syme with me. You told me you're the only camera shop in Maryland? We've been the only camera store in Maryland, brick and mortar camera store, for about 10 years now. That is amazing unto itself, and we'll revisit that statement shortly. But here's the genesis of this day's Where's Marty? I've already told this to Brooke. To uh, Burke. Um, when the iPhone, Brooke is one of our producers. When the iPhone was introduced last week, I'm standing on the assignment desk talking to Bree. I'm talking to Matt. We're just having a conversation. And I said, if the new iPhone could teach math at Yale, nobody would care. All people wanted to know was about the camera. And then I started wondering if people still used film cameras. Don't ever say a digital camera is not a camera because you said... Digital cameras are real cameras. Are real cameras. But I was just curious if film still existed, if developing still existed. And coming up after the break, after the break you're going to tell a story that I think is going to open up a lot of folks' eyes. We're going to tell you how much film is now, how you get it developed, and how they're not going to give you negatives. Isn't that the truth? That's exactly right. Crazy. We're in hand in this morning. We'll throw it back to TV Hill. <laughs> 